Hi, I'm David Farnell with winefox.ca and I want to talk to you about crisp wines. So what makes a crisp wine a crisp wine? Well, it starts off with a grape variety. A lot of grapes tend to have higher acidity, even when they get very, very ripe, like Riesling, like Sauvignon Blanc, and certainly like Pinot Grigio. But also, if the vintage year was cool and the grapes didn't get quite as ripe, or if that vineyard is in a cooler place, like say Ontario, or Germany, or Northern France, or the lower, almost all of the Loire Valley, crisp wines can be easily found in just about every cool climate region of the world. And this tends to be something we associate to maybe a Granny Smith apple or a kiwi. This is the refreshing side of wine. So we talk about uh, cooler climates, we talk about maybe stainless steel fermentation. You may hear some of these words in, used to describe wines like grassy or gooseberry. What the wine writer is trying to tell you is that these are wines with high acidity that are bright, fresh and refreshing. Kind of like a trumpet as opposed to say a saxophone. Something that's brighter with higher frequencies. These are the wines that call out for a Saturday afternoon at the cottage when it's nice and hot out and you want a refreshing light white wine. Or if you're going to have a light flaky fish or maybe a, a simple chicken dish. Wines that aren't too intense but have enough acidity to carry and balance food very well. So this is for me what crisp wines are all about. They could be many different grape types but really at the end of the day it's, the, it's your experience of having a crisp light refreshing wine that puts into the crisp category. I'm David Farnell with winefox.ca. Thank you very much for joining us.